show you how you can make consolidated financial statements in Dynamics 365 Business Central using the account schedules. The first thing you want to do is set up a consolidation company. This can be an existing company or new company. But what you're going to do is identify business units within that company. You're going to run a consolidation. And then we'll take a look at a consolidated trial balance. And then we'll go into an account schedule. We'll see how that's set up. I created a new consolidation company. Within that company, I've identified two business units. You can see those here. Let me click on one. It's relatively easy to set up a business unit. The important thing is the consolidation percentage here. So once you do that, the next thing to do is to run a consolidation. We'll run a consolidation for this. Let's take a look at the consolidated trial balance. This is an out-of-the-box report. We'll run it for the current year. And this is the consolidated trial balance. You can see I've got information from both of my companies here. I've also included one elimination entry. I entered that in my consolidation company, so it's separate from the operations companies. Now let's take a look at the account schedules. This is an account schedule I created. It has a standard format. I read this right off my chart of accounts. Let's take a look at the column layout. In the column layout, I put a column in for each of my companies. I identify the business units here. What I like about this is in this view of the account schedule, I can go to process, go to overview. It gives me an interactive view of this data. So I can click into a line item here. I can look at the underlying entries. And this will show you where the amounts are coming from. Here you can see it's picking for this particular account, 61400, 21,000 from one company and 2,300 from another company. It's consolidating at 100%. What I can also do from the overview is I can take this information and I can put it into Excel. It's easy to do. I'll export it to Excel. So here's the financial statement in Excel. Let's clean it up a little bit. So what I can do is I can add a graph to this Excel spreadsheet. So let's do that. I'll identify what I want in there. Then I'll insert a graph. So I've inserted the graph here. What I can do now is I can save this as a template and reuse it when I export the information from Business Central into Excel again. So let's do that. So I've saved it as a template. If I want to go back and refresh that template, I can do that later. It's easy to do. Let's go to Actions and Excel. Instead of creating a new document, I'll update a copy of the existing document. This is the one I just created. Let's select that. It's going to create an Excel spreadsheet again, update the numbers that they needed to be updated, then also bring in that formatting that I did, which included a graph. So this allows me to easily take information from Business Central in the format specified by the account schedule, get those numbers into Excel, and I can add graphs to them if I want to.